Bonjour! This is Pierre's Adventure. I am Pierre, and today we are in Denver, Colorado, and I am with my good friend Tom, that we see each other, I would say, all over the world. All over the world. I started painting, I think, like most people do, because it's fun. I liked it. It called to me. I had to do it. But as I've gotten into it and started teaching, originally I was resistant because I was a little bit reticent and shy about teaching. I thought, what do I have to offer? What I found I think I have to offer is less about how you paint and more about why you paint in the first place. There are so few materials in watercolor. There's paper, of course. Uh, I've used Fabriano paper for years. Uh, I love it. I continue to love it more as I've gotten to know you. I've spent a lot of time in Fabriano with, with the manufacturers. I think it comes down to trust. There are good people who want to do good by their clients, by the world, and by other artists because they are artists. Um, I think it takes an artist to know an artist, and, yeah. and they are. So Fabriano paper for sure. The one thing I'd like to point out with limited time, because I paint so wet and loose, I use a lot of water. And a lot of artists struggle very much with the um, painting loose, painting wet. And I think it's because it just takes some time to get used to the mixture of pigment and water in a brush. So I used to always encourage them to buy at least one natural hair bristle brush. Still not a bad idea, but I used a lot of mops. Uh, Raphael's come out with these soft aqua brushes, which are synthetic. And I have to admit, when I heard that, I thought, yeah, right, that's not gonna work. No chance. But because of the way they manufacture it, and Pierre could go into detail, they hold just a, about as much water and pigment mixture within the bristles to help you do a massive wash if you need to before they go dry. So they're very impressive. Of course, they're beautifully made and they're, they're good to hold because they're made by people that, that care. I, I teach all over the world all the time but one thing I noticed that I wish students would do is stop being afraid of water. It's called watercolor. <laughs> yeah. But I, I have found, and this isn't just an unfiltered plug, but it is a bit. Often it's because they buy a brush that doesn't hold any water. So they naturally learn bad habits. They learn that the paintbrush is only going to go two inches and then it's dry. So I always say, get a brush that can hold some water and you won't believe how much happier you'll be and hopefully how much better your paintings will be. I think the bottom line is go paint! Go paint! <laughs> Thank you!